Hi guys, it's Sam. Happy Friday to you. I am at a red light. I thought today would be a good day to film a day in the life of my job. I love these types of videos. I am a paraprofessional in a New York City public school in Brooklyn. I commute to work. It's not the best, but it's also, it's a trade-off. I love the community and I love the school and the kids are great. I work in a classroom with a teacher and it's awesome. I really do like my job. It's not the best pay and I can I can get into the the paraprofessional field if anybody there is interested. Most people know it as a teaching assistant. But I like to be called paraprofessional, so I have been in pre-K for the past three years with the same teacher, which is great. Something about, about paraprofessionals is that you don't get to, like, most teachers get to be, like, lower level, elementary school, or high school. But we don't get to choose, like, the age that we want to be in. Well, that's not true, per se. We, I just filled out my preference sheet for next year, and I put pre-k and I put the younger grade so we do kind of get they put us in mind but they not required to do so and we are in a classroom with 18 children and I'm really more like a partner and my teacher treats me as such I feel so it's so nice to work with somebody who I would not want her to consider me her equal in the terms of like how we are in the classroom, but she never makes me feel like I am like some like a school aide or something like that. And yeah, so I've been with pre-K for three years. It's a lot of hard work, but again, like I said, it's a lot of fun. And I, I just love that age. It's such a magical age. They are three and four when they come in and then they leave as four and five year olds. I thought I would pick today. It's Friday. Love Fridays. And also my teacher, she called out sick this morning and I should have known that because she wasn't feeling well yesterday. And it's just, you can't get well if you're in school, unfortunately. It's just, especially in pre-K, I feel like not saying, no, you're, you get better teaching other grades, but it's just, you can't rest throughout the day. And with her being out, I'm going to take advantage. I'm not going to film the kids, of course, because that would just be crazy. But I want to film, like, in the morning. I want to film the classroom. And breakfast is not in our room. We we have, uh, there's only two classes in our location. And I'll get into that a little bit later if I remember. And we switch between classrooms. So we don't have breakfast this week, which is super exciting. That I can film without having to be like without having to her ask me like what are you doing with the camera and it's not that we never take our cameras out we do to take pictures of the kids if we're having parents over or we're having a special event we just like to uh, document so the parents could feel like they're they know what's going on during the day so I will be doing that I'm excited I am more than halfway on my journey here I you know it's city traffic so what are you gonna do it's hard, but it's, I'm almost there right now, and I think GPS, I have it, I know how to get here, but sometimes, it just makes me feel a little bit better knowing that it's on in case something should arise, so I'm going to continue on my journey, and I will talk to you guys when I am at my school. Okay, so I made it, and I, one of the reasons that I turned on GPS was I wanted to see how long it would take me and it said 57 minutes but I actually didn't start it until about two minutes later so almost an hour not quite this is the time so I parked I got a spot sometimes I have to wait forever uh, to get a spot I'm gonna put my makeup on and then I will come back and show you how I look I don't look like this I don't put on a lot of makeup just some just enough to make me presentable and yeah and it makes me feel more awake too doing it putting on my makeup in the car I should probably do it at home but I do it in the car and I'll be back 
so looking much much better and awake like i said i don't do much i put on it's gonna sound like a lot but oh some of you have may may have seen my car routine my makeup car routine i put on primer if i have extra time which i had today which was amazing and then i put on foundation cream foundation easier to apply than liquid powder blush mascara eyebrow stuff that's and that's also if i have extra time eyebrow stuff and i do a finishing spray just because i really like it and i'm gonna go in now i'll show you the classroom and a bunch of other stuff if i can so here's an overview of my classroom and i'm gonna just do a few things to get ready since my teacher's not here i'm gonna set up the tables with activities do the sign in i thought i would do a quick outfit of the day i'm wearing a green i keep it very casual because i'm on the floor a lot and i'm playing with the kids so i have a green old navy top which i hope it's not backwards okay good i changed it to my cardigan i had my blue hoodie on but it had stains on it from when i was cooking yesterday and then uh, black jeans and my ultra boost sneakers and right now I am doing the sign-in for the kids and I thought I would do raindrops and back there is the motor room so we do have another space here but um, we might have to use that today just because it's raining so I'm not sure okay so I'm gonna do the schedule and I want to show you the table so I did Bristol blocks over there I did lending library and then art over there Okay, so while the kids are reading, or is trying to read, we have a parent here, so they're excited. We have pizza, garlic knots, oranges, these really cool carrots with ranch seasoning, and we have peanut butter and cheese. Hi guys, it's Sam again, and I am home. I'm parked in front of my house. I got to park in the front, which... Don't get me started. I have like theories on this truck who parks here all the time. Ugh, it's so frustrating. For those of you who own a home and who they have a sp parking spot, like there's space to park a car in front of your home and you have more than two cars, it's nice to park in front of your house. That's all I have to say. There's this truck that always parks here, even if the spot in front of his house is free. And I think it because it's a small spot. His car could fit there. He has a huge pickup truck with four doors. And I think he parks here because there's a lot more space. And I'm just like, once in a while, buddy, I would love to park in front of the house. I haven't said that to him, and I would never because I don't own the street. But it's just a little bit, it's very annoying to me. I won't say a little bit. It's very annoying to me. Anyway, off that, I got home. There was a lot of traffic. I have a rain theory. I feel like whenever it rains, people, it's you will expect to get 10 to even 30 minutes more traffic than you usually would so i can't stand driving with the jacket on or sometimes a scarf i'll allow but i just it just is Ooh, watch out my pin anyway so yeah it's just longer commute it wasn't terrible but it was like come on i just want to get home especially on a friday i plan to not take a nap We'll see how that goes if I get tired. Sometimes, you know, when you get home, you don't realize how, until you get home, you don't realize how exhausted you are. Today was a good day. It was a hard day. When you change the routine, especially in pre-K, especially in pre-K, it just kind of, I feel like routine is very important. And since we had a new teacher, the kids were like kind of just being a bit naughty. And I feel like sometimes I'm mean cop. So I... I was just trying to tell them, like, you know, this is, you have to be kind. That's a big thing with me, being kind and respectful. And so I was doing a lot of that today. But overall, we had a great day. We had one of the parents come in for, we do this thing called Friend of the Week, where we highlight one child a week. And I love it. We get to learn more about them, and they get to feel special for a week. And today, we had 
he dropped off, his parents dropped off, a, his mom dropped off a snack, and it was veg, vegetables, and a lot of kids tried it. Um, most of the time, they bring in, like, yogurt or, like, um, like a cereal or something, but this was different, and I enjoyed it. I had, I partake, I partake partaked in that that just sounds weird too and then she came back for lunch which was so nice i i next door they don't like it when parents come for lunch but i think that's all they do like all the parents do in that classroom but i enjoy it once in a while i think it's fun and the kids love it and she read to them which was nice so it was a good day it was a long day i know i didn't get to film that much but it's really hard our classroom i didn't realize how much of their faces and names we have there it's like almost everywhere i couldn't show you anything close up and i didn't even feel comfortable really showing you the names you might have gotten a glimpse of some of it and i forgot to film what i did after school after lunch i told you i can't my brain shuts down or something and i just want to sit there and eat my lunch so i did that oh Speaking of my lunch, so I had leftovers from the past two days. The pasta was from Wednesday night, and then I had the fish zucchini uh, from yesterday, which was very good. I, I like those kinds of certain kinds of leftovers. They just meld together really well. I didn't bring... I made also an avocado, tomato, and red onion salad, which was delicious, but that was gone, which is good. I like it when people eat the food. <sighs> I'm just glad it's Friday. It's, it hasn't been a long week, but I'm just, as you can tell, I'm stress breaking out. I, 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 I don't know. I just need to learn more skills. Like I need to learn how to meditate or something where I could channel my stress and frustration. Um, but yeah, I had a good day. I think the kids had a good day. It was nice to say it was nice that it's Friday, uh, but we had a ton of fun. And if you want me to get into, I know I didn't speak that much about being a paraprofessional. I love the job. It fits for me and my personality. And I've been, and I have to say I'm lucky with where I work. I feel like that really, if you enjoy going to work, it just changes your whole perspective on that job. I love it and I'm very happy where I am and until things need to change I'm probably gonna stick to where I am sure the commute is from hell but I when I'm there I'm very happy so if you want me to get into it how to apply and stuff like that any questions let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird day in the life video I'll try to be better about it if I do this again it's just hard to film with the children around you never want to um, put anyone's child without their permission on video on YouTube you know okay so I will talk to you guys soon I hope you're all doing well and have a fabulous weekend or have a fabulous day whatever day time you are watching this bye